for me, like one of the ways that I've worked on my confidence is just through taking action is actually being in the constantly moving because I guess when you take action, it gives you more belief that you can do something, right. more belief you have, you can do something, the more action you take. It really is like a cycle that goes through like action, belief, action, belief, action, belief, which builds confidence. So for me, I feel like really confident and taking action when I'm constantly moving forward, moving the needle, doing something that's working towards my goal. I think when we actually spend too much time thinking, Right, how am I going to build confidence? How am I going to sit and internalize all this? It can actually bring you back. So I think for me, I gained like so much confidence in the more success I had and the more sort of goals I hit. And it just really built that sort of belief in myself that because I think it comes from deep rooted of do I believe that I belong here? Do I believe yeah. that I deserve a seat at this table? And mm -hmm. when you've got that belief, then it just shines through you're not putting on a mask you're not pretending it's just literally radiating out of you so I would say if you're in the position where you're thinking I've not got the respect yet or I don't know how to get it and I don't have the confidence I would say like what are you working towards what is it you want to achieve and are you moving the needle every single day in order to to get there and it's actually not about reaching the goal or having the success it's about knowing that you're taking the steps every day to get um, just stepping back Liv to when you started out I know there's a lot of people I speak to uh, through social media that talk about not wanting from school to go to university or college and having an inkling that they may want to go into you know anything from trades um through to business and uh, sometimes they feel pressured by family members or they don't believe in themselves what kind of advice i mean you started out so early um what advice would you give to anyone out there that is in that position is just finding it hard um and maybe at a point where they think they're going down the wrong route um what advice would you have for those those women yeah, I mean, so for me, I was I was always fortunate to have my mum, who's always been like my biggest supporter. She said, look, Liv, you do what you want with your life and I'll be here to support you. She now works with me. She left her business to join mine when I was 18. So nice. I'm in the really fortunate position to have always had her sort of cheating me on and saying, look, you can do this. I think if you are in that position where you are unsure what you're going to do next or you feel like you've maybe went down the wrong path, I would just say to yourself, look, you know, it's never too late to change what you're doing. Like life is hopefully long and what you're doing in terms of work and your career you need to be passionate about it needs to be mission driven like you need to feel like this is what you're put on earth to do and I think if you are in that space where you are feeling a little bit like maybe not confident enough to do it scared to take the leap I would 100% find inspiration from other people that have already done it and I would just totally get into their whole their whole vibe their whole circle everything that they're doing I would just absolutely launch myself into that and constantly be surrounded by them whether it's listening to podcasts with them if it's following them on social following them on YouTube wherever they are you want to be and you really want to sort of soak that in so for me for example I like love Tony Robbins and I'm like yeah. every day I woke up I put him on like listen to him every morning and it just gave me like such energy to start the day and even now I'm still surrounding myself with these people that you know I want to follow in their footsteps experience working with men because I have to say I would say that like 95% of our clients are male Right. At the property stagers anyway. So it's like totally male dominated. And I have to say, like, I got on well with so many of them. I think men are a lot more straight talking. Mm -hmm. They are sometimes easier to work with. And because of what I do, which is obviously interiors, they have a lot less opinions than if you were to work with a female. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so that's quite nice. They just like let you go on with it. Um, but yeah, there's also the flip side of that. So for me, obviously starting out young, there's been so many different experiences obviously not being taken seriously people thinking well what can I learn not only from a 21 year old or a 19 mm -hmm. year old but a woman mm -hmm. and then thirdly like for one of the, the worst experiences I've had quite a lot of times now is people telling me how to run my business <laughs> so I've had like so many messages from people like you know pet this if you really wanted to make profit on this you would be doing this or yeah. if you really wanted to not lose me as a client, then you wouldn't be running your business like this, honey. Oh and it's those God. comments that are just like, oh no. Do you have any last minute words of wisdom to any She Who Dares wins listers out there that, um, I don't know, they just want to um, be successful? 
Yeah, I mean, I would say that like whatever is holding you back, like just try and let it go. Like don't let fear of like failure hold you back. And I, and also like obviously through my coaching, like one of the things I hear most from women is the lack of confidence or the fear of failure. Mm-hmm. And that is totally internal. That's all in your head. I am, as I mentioned earlier, the action is going to get you out of that place where when you start taking action, you'll build the confidence. So for me, it's just my whole philosophy has always been around just do it. It's not that original, but the more time that you spend just thinking about something or always dreaming about it, like don't wake up tomorrow and wish you'd started yesterday. Just like, just start now. 